You know, becoming a welder takes a lot of patience, skill, and knowledge, but doing so gives you the ability to build anything from a skyscraper to a piece of jewelry. Now, I really enjoy working on these old cars, especially doing sheet metal work. Now, whenever these cars were assembled, oftentimes they were using a process called resistant spot weld. That's where two electrodes clamp the panel, current is applied, fusing them together. Buying a machine to do that exact process can be kind of costly, but there is a way to simulate that with a simple MIG welder. To start off, this process is a good idea to know what you're going to be working with. What we have here is some simple 18 gauge, and before we get too carried away, we're going to clean this stuff up a bit. To do this, I'm going to use an air grinder and an abrasive pad, simply moving it around on this piece of metal, brightens it all up. Now we need to put some holes in this piece so that we can weld it to our other. What we're going to be doing is making some 5 16 holes in it. Now if your material was a little bit thinner, you could reduce down to say quarter inch, where if it was a little thicker, well you could go up to 3 8 And to make those holes, you can use a punch or your trusty old drill. Now what we're going to do for this demonstration is put them right down this edge. So using this punch, well that's going to make it a lot easier. But if it was out here in the middle, well obviously you'd have to use a drill. With a few clamps, you can hold everything nice and tight with no gaps. Before we start throwing all those hot sparks, I'm going to demonstrate the procedure that we're going to use for welding this up. And it's a lot like whenever you're at the buffet getting you some soft serve. What you want to do is start you a puddle right here in the middle and then circle around filling up the void. It's that easy. All right, now it's time to burn some wire. Well, those turned out pretty good. They're nice and flat. And if you look here on the back, there's a little bit of distortion, so that means you've got some pretty good penetration. Now, it may take you a little bit of effort to dial in your machine, cranking the heat up, or even turning the wire speed down. But a little bit of practice and some patience, and it'll get you exactly where you need to be.